uh, Martin, here. See, I didn't forget. My check for the tickets to the butler's ball. Tonight, isn't it? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Would you like the tickets? Oh, no, Martin. Just give them to someone. Severina, pop off, anyone. Yes, sir. Uh, what a sigh, Martin. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, sir. Nothing at all. <laughs> Where are you going? To get your eggs, sir. They'll wait. What's the joke, huh? <laughs> oh, looks like the joke's on you, sir. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I can't tell you, sir. Why not? Well, the more I think of it... <laughs> Come on, let's have it. You can't keep a joke like that to yourself, especially if it's on me. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> Looks like you've been taken for a ride, sir. At last, that girl. What girl? What girl? Oh, yes. One does get the mix, doesn't one? The new maid. Looks like she's put one over on you. <laughs> and that's the thing we've been trying to avoid, sir. You've been drinking, Martin. I beg your pardon, sir. Then come on. What's all this about, anyway? Well, I'll tell you. Looks like she's wormed her way into your affection. She's just like all the rest of them, stage-struck, ambitious. I'll get the eggs, sir. Wait a minute. Are you referring to... And the new maid. She's the type of girl that gets in your hair, haunts managers' offices. Yes? Of course, I understand how you feel. She's young, she's pretty. She does look innocent, doesn't she? I don't believe a word you're... Martin, how do you know this? Oh, everybody knows. That is, the servants. Of course, I understand if you want to have a little fun, but still... But still what? Well, it doesn't seem to me there's much fun if you know a girl is trying to use you. Well, don't take it too hard, boss. After all, you can't go to the payoff window after every race. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> oh, nothing. It's just so funny, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you thought the little girl had wormed her way into my affections, eh? <laughs> oh, the poor kid. I wouldn't want to hurt her feelings. Huh? I thought she understood. I just missed my train, dropped into the Pelican, trying to kill a dull evening, and if that girl thinks that... Well, it, it's just too bad, that's all. You understand, don't you, Mark? Oh, yes, sir. Hello, operator. Uh, long distance, please. Martin, I uh, think you'd better ask Ann to come in a minute. Yes, sir. Long distance? I want to get Far Harbor, Maine. Miss Elizabeth Campbell, person to person. This is Charles Gerard, Murray Hill, 9090. Thanks. Ah, good morning, Anne. Good morning. Thank you, Martin. Very good, sir. Well, Miss Carter, what'll it be? What? Oh, you played your cards very well. What are you going to sing for? What do you mean? Why, surely you're not going to waste all your effort. This is your opportunity. Oh, Martin, that will be all. Yes, sir. I don't want to thank Oh, well, in that case, I, I want to thank you for a charming evening. I know it was rude of me to take you away from your friends, but well, I do hope they're not too angry. Martin, you may go. I prefer to stay. Look, this doesn't concern you. Maybe it does. Martin, you're fired. Oh, yeah? Well, that's fine. That's great. Martin, wait. Mr. Gerard, please. Sorry, baby. Maybe you're right. We don't belong here. The phone's ringing, Martin. So it is, sir. But I'm fired. So you are. Hello? Oh, Liz, darling. I... Yes, dear, I know, but listen, I missed my train. I'm sorry, but I won't miss the next one. I'll see you in the morning. Yes. I'm afraid I did something very silly last night. I'll tell you about it when I see you. It'll give you a big laugh. Yes. Okay, darling. Bye. I think that will be all, Ann. Martin? Yes, sir? I'm sure you must have a lot of things to clean up for the ball tonight. You and Anne can leave whenever you wish. Big idea, packing a grip. I told you I was going home. Oh, look, sis, forget about going home. So we've been fired. Okay, we can get other jobs. And besides, you're not going to throw a great career overboard just like that. <laughs> Some career. Oh, look, with your pipes and my brains, we can really go places. I'll be your manager, you know, like you said, and I'll only take 5%. There's only one catch, Mark. Yeah? I'm all through things. I don't want to have anything to do with music or the stage ever. Well, I take you nuts. Besides, what can you do in Centerville? <laughs> Got everything I need. Good food, good quarters, good clothes, not too much work, no worry. Remember? Yeah, I remember. I remember you offered me a job as manager, and I accepted, now you're running out of me. But I'm not going to sing anymore, so I don't need a manager. Oh, come on, honey. Take it over for just another day. 
And I was while we left some fun. The butler's ball. Besides, I promised Pop off and the boys you'd be there, and they're counting on you. After all, you ran out on last night. Martin, I can't. Well, if you don't care about me, you might have a little consideration for them. I don't care. Okay, if you want to go around ruining other people's lives. I'm not ruining anybody's lives. No, what about mine? Oh, look, sis, you're all I got. Please don't leave me. Oh, come on. What about waiting in the morning? Go to the ball with me tonight. All right, all right. Just leave me alone. Oh, thanks, kid. Thanks. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir. Do you have a ticket? Why, no. I'm uh, I'm looking for someone. I'm sorry, sir, but this is a private party. Butler's only. Oh, I see. Well, I, uh, I'm i looking for Mr. Martin Murphy. Oh, Martin. He was around a moment ago. Oh, there he is. Uh, Martin. Yeah? This gentleman to see you. Hello, Martin. Where's Anne? Henry, I thought you said there was a gentleman to see me. Why, he told me that... Uh... I never saw him before. Now, wait a minute, Martin. All I want to know is his Anne here. I've got to talk to him. Certainly is overcrowded in Maine this season. I'll forget about that, will you? Martin. Hey, Martin. Hello, Mort. Certainly appreciate your coming tonight. Mort Cow gives you his word. You can put it in the bank and draw on it. Hello, Mort. You're just in time. Uh, this is the gentleman who invited me. Who's your friend, Martin? You got me, pal. He claims he knows everybody. Oh, Mort, don't do this to me. I'm your pal. Now, listen, please, both of you. I've got to get in here. What do you want from me, a reference? He might turn out to be a vicious character. You better get away from him. Henry. Yes, Mr. Cow? Throw the bum out. That'll learn him. Now, Martin, about the kid. If she can chirp as well as you say, why, it's all right with now me. Now, look I'll... here, Henry. I'd be delighted to purchase a ticket. Uh, this but... is a private affair. I told you before, sir. Now, if you would only be good enough to... Severina! Oh, Severina, I've been looking everywhere for you. They won't let me in. Don't let them do this to uh, your cousin, Charlie. What? Uh, uh, oh, Charlie. Charlie, darling, I'm so glad you could come. Explain to this gentleman who I am, please. Uh, Henry, this is my uh, cousin, Charlie. Shake hands, gentlemen. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, of course, any relative of Severina's is most welcome. Well, thank you. Come on, Charlie, have fun. Have fun. Now, you aren't my cousin anymore, and I'm glad of it. Why? You know Why? You have ruined the lives of a whole family. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Anne and Martin, and you know it. 